I'm Mike Lamonti of Lamonti Farms. I was talking with my friend David Burke, the fig hunter, about hand pollinating and how easy it is to do. In front of me, I have everything we need to hand pollinate. A syringe to inject the fig. A knife to cut the cap of fig in half. A strainer, just a regular old sink strainer. That I use when you tap the capper fig, sometimes you get chunks. So I use that to strain into our cup of water. Our bottled water. You can use tap water if you want, but me having city water, it's chlorinated, so I'll stick with nice fresh bottled water. I also have a piece of wax paper. This is what I normally tap the capper fig on after I cut it in half to get the pollen out. You can use loose leaf, you can use notebook paper. Do not use the black plate like I did in one of the photos just to show you the pollen. It does stick to the plate and it's very hard to get off. One other note, the pollen does not like to mix easily so you have to use a fork or a small whisk to mix it up often. Once you put it in the syringe before you inject the fig, you must shake the syringe. If not, you might just get water or a lot of pollen. I'm going to actually bring you outside and we're going to inject a couple of figs. We're in the backyard now looking at the fig forest. That's a nice curry tree right there. And this is Holy Smokes. So I'm going to try and do this one-handed. I have an empty syringe in front of me. We can use that to pre-do our holes. Because the fig does clog the syringe. So there's our exit hole and our entrance hole. You do not need to do the exit hole, but I find I get a hundred percent pollination rate doing the exit hole. If I stick the syringe in there. And one little drop of water comes out and you're done. And that is it. It doesn't take much. With one syringe we can do a lot of figs. So that is it. Thank you for watching. And any questions, reach out and I will try and help out as best as I can. Thank you. Mm -hmm.